Always wearing wool. I've created a whole new top. Thrift shopping. Take it away, take it away. Feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here She's back. Hello beautiful authentic beings and welcome back to my channel. <sighs> I'm so excited about this week's video because I am taking you guys with me on my week through showing my outfits. I've been wanting to do more fashion related videos. I've been having so much fun recently just picking out my outfits and playing around and being creative so. And then I'm also going to talk a little bit through my process of when I actually put together my outfits because from studying fashion for six years all in total. I have learned a lot. I've learned a lot about how to put together collections, color and patterns and textures and all that stuff that I've used in my projects and now have kind of incorporated into my style and my wardrobe and how I actually put together my outfits. Hopefully it helps anyone out there that is struggling a little bit with figuring out what to wear in the morning because I know for a lot of people they look at their clothes and think oh, shit I have nothing to wear but there's always something and you can always mix and match and do different things with your clothes that you maybe never thought of. Well, let's get into outfit number one. Today I am headed into the city to do some work. I am also going to the cinema with a few of my co-workers later today. We're watching a movie that one of our other co-workers in which is so fun. It is cold here in Norway. I am currently always wearing wool. That's like my number one tip when it's cold. I've always been so good at layering and making sure that I wear enough. We're in my room. This is my closet where I have all my clothes. <laughs> I also have my rack of clothing right here. So I'm starting off with this top. I have no idea if this outfit even works, but we will see. I'm gonna go get the other things. I usually start with pants just because I don't have that many pants. These ones are the ones that I picked out for today. A little green number. They're like tapered at the bottom. Baggy. I love them. One of my priorities is being comfortable, but I can also be uncomfortable. Depends on what I'm doing. If I'm being active, if I am doing a lot, I would love to be comfortable. And then if I'm like doing something for an event or whatever it is, I don't mind like dressing up and wearing corsets and I do a lot of work too but then from weekday my top I have netted myself she's a cute one on top over everything I was thinking this dress let's see no I wore it at work and that's a big stain on it I can't wear this dress <laughs> let's find something else oh, I found this shirt that I love that passed away a few years ago and I was thinking this on top but then this doesn't really clash for me. I'm not a big fan so. And I also picked out these ones. They are leggings that I cut the feet off and then cut out the crotch. It was actually a friend of mine that started doing this and he put it like on his butt. I'm gonna show you how I put it on. And then he like thread his arms through the legs and wore that with like a mesh tights. Then I just started experimenting with it. Starting to like wrap it around my body and like This is one of the recent ways that I have learned how to style this. It's just like, I've created a whole new top. Isn't it so cool? And I love the color blocking so you can like see the little peak of orange. The tones work so well together because they're both warm and you get little like specks of green and green from the pants and then red and orange in here. And oh, I love it. And still gonna wear this I think. I love mixing patterns. All these things that I talk about now you'll be seeing throughout the week. What do we think? Something is not right. See like it takes me a few tries before I actually really truly love an outfit. That's the fun of it. Getting to play around. Now this little creative practice in the morning has been just so fulfilling for me. I'll be back. I think we got it. We have two different kinds of shirts that I'm gonna layer on top of each other. And then we got my belt. Thrifted in New York. She is such a beauty. By the way, 
my tights. I got them from a friend that was doing a closet clear out. Good tip if you're wanting new clothes. Do a clothing swap with your friends or clear out your closet and ask other people to clear them out and then see what you can grab. Such a great way of finding new pieces without buying anything new. I'm bringing out all the, the info today. It's just so good. Then shirt number one. I love. Works so much better. I've been doing this so much, so for me, putting together an outfit, I can like notice and feel like, is this right? Is this how my outfit is supposed to be today? And that takes time. Like, it's not gonna come just within one week. I've been doing this ever since I moved to New York. Trying things on, figuring out what I like, what I don't like. Become really creative in the process of putting together an outfit. If you're trying to find your own style and are struggling, are like, oh, but I can't seem to do it exactly how I feel it should be. Don't worry, you will get there, trust me. It just takes practice. See what I did there? I broke up the pattern and then it doesn't get as busy but you still get the little peaks and you still see the depth of the outfit look at this and then we can't forget about accessories for my jewelry i am doing my pearl necklace that i got from my boyfriend from when he was on his trip to malaysia for my earrings i am doing these little pearl studs that i also got from my boyfriend my boyfriend <laughs> I love these two rings. They're two of my favorite ones. And then I have my family ring that my mom created for us. My outfit is ready. Ooh. I probably will film a little bit when I'm out like of my outfit and with my full jacket and everything. Hope you enjoyed the little long like chat and the tips and all that stuff. Yesterday, I think I filmed it. I bought it and I got it from Junkyard. Lovely black puffer coat. I just needed something to keep me warm. It's so snuggly and baby. Very excited to be able to wear this. And then next up, I went thrift shopping because it's the love of my life, except for sewage. This. Mm. I got four things, two jackets, one skirt, and then one belt. This is her. It's a like mid-thigh ring and it's so good. It's gonna just go so well with my whole closet. I love the little details. This is from... doesn't say. A nameless brand and the puffer is from Yoke. The next thing we got is a skirt. I love layering skirts over pants or dresses over pants and I have been looking for a plaid skirt that's not like super short because I don't know like when I'm layering I want some lengths. Um, I love doing different lengths and playing with that. This is her. And this is from Hamid Hammer apparently but yeah. That's my perfect fall skirt. Then we have a puffer jacket. I was torn to buy this, but my boyfriend has one that's very, very similar with just different colors. And I was like, I want to be that couple that matches with their skiing jackets. <laughs> and this is so me as well. Like the colors, the combination of color is just, this is her. It's like an 80s ski slow jacket. She's so good. And last 
but not least, we have a belt. I don't have that many belts and I've been looking for one that you could make smaller because sometimes I like to belt whatever I'm wearing. So being able to actually choose the own size and not have to like worry about having too little holes. Ooh, that was it for the haul. Probably gonna hang up on you guys for today. It's been a really slow day, really like weird, falling back into my patterns kind of day. But I got out, I went shopping, which makes me really, really happy getting stuff that I actually, you know, can incorporate into my outfits. I will see you guys tomorrow. We are off to work, so I gotta run, but I will show you guys my outfit later. It's so cute. <laughs> Especially with the changes that I'm doing. This cold is just, you know, a symptom of me changing, of me shattering the old. Also, like, having that time to really nurture myself and to take care of myself. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna draw a little bit. I'm starting to draw again just for fun. Yes, just taking care of myself. I got some ginger tea, some honey. I made a little baked apples in the pie. I got some ice cream. Dark chocolate on top. Mm. But this is my outfit today. Very snazzy. <laughs> well, that's the thing, you know, like it's not getting dressed up every day. It's about wearing what makes you comfortable and what makes you feel like the most you in that very moment. I am gonna leave you. Mm -hmm. 